Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I thought we would do exactly this. Just take the camera around the house and see if we can find some items to sell on eBay and Facebook Marketplace that I just no longer need. It's just cluttering up the house. I'm sure I've got a few items. And I think really over the next few weeks, given that we're in the holiday season now, it's a great opportunity for you guys out there to do the exact same thing. If you wanna make 2021 your year of getting into reselling, or even if you're just looking for a few extra items to resell if you're doing it part-time or full-time, this is a great place to start. I really do think because you can find these items and not have to pay for them and you can get them listed straight away and start earning money. So I'm gonna take the camera around today. I'm gonna to show you the stuff that I find just literally around my own home. And I'm gonna show you the value and the potential of selling it on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. So I'll take you out of this cupboard and I'll take you into a few more cupboards throughout the day. So I hope you get a kick out of the episode. Hit the like button if you get any enjoyment out of it. Let's get moving. So ultimately in this first one, I've just got a heap of boxes of books basically. All the Harry Potter books are in here. Um, some books are worth a bit, some books aren't. Um, I think there's a bit of money to be made in this Halo encyclopedia. So we're gonna do a bit of research into that and see what we can find for that. I used to love playing Halo back on the Xbox 360. Found some old Pokemon cards in here as well. I don't think there's any rare ones or anything in here, but it looks to be a bit of a mix. I'm not too up on my Pokemon cards. I need to get better at learning which ones are good ones. But I know that they're trending really well at the minute. And there's a few in here, not a heap, but there's a couple of old ones in here which we had from ages ago. So maybe I'll have to do some research and work out what any of those could be worth. Here we go. Look at that. Mickey Mouse. What does it say? Not 100% sure but we'll add him to the list. I found these as well, these Vans shoes. No laces on them, but hardly worn. So I think they're a size six. Size seven, women's eight and a half. So I think they could go all right. Um, so a few things in here so far. We've been able to find the Pokemon, a couple of Pokemon cards in here. So I've got to do some digging through there. Um, the Harry Potter books, um, a lot of Harry Potter books, they're all there. Um, Adventure Time, Halo books, so been able to dig all this out and the Mickey as well. All of this will go pretty well. This has been the first bedroom that we've had a bit of a look in. We've found some pretty cool stuff. Um, there's a few more boxes in there, just those two down there that I haven't yet checked, um, but I've sort of sifted through everything else and there was nothing there. I won't touch the clothing. And then up here, it was just the plush toys um, that we're able to get the Mickey Mouse. So that's pretty much everything for this room. We'll, um, we'll keep moving on. Uh, we'll go downstairs and have a look to see if there's any sort of DVDs or CDs. All right, room number two, we're gonna have a bit of a look in the DVDs and the CDs to see if we can find something. I'll open up a few of the drawers and we'll see what we've got. Watch your mouth. That could actually be fun over Christmas. A logo board game as well. That might be okay. Have to have a look into that one. Uh, 
Boob like Christmas. Adventure time in here. So I'll have to have a look into those. There are three more upstairs as well. Uh, Liar Liar, everything. Faulty Towers, that's one of the best shows in the world. Really showing my DVD um, taste in TV shows going through this. Um, oh, there's another Adventure Time. I think that's popular. Alright, so so far we've been in two rooms. We've been able to go into the spare room and find all of this. And then we went into the DVD sort of lounge room area and we found the DVDs for Adventure Time. We found a few board games as well, which are worth a little bit. And the Game of Thrones, I didn't even know we had that, but that is an awesome find as well. So we're slowly starting to accumulate. There's a few more storage um, areas of the house that I want to go and have a bit of a look into. So let's go jump into that. So that's just about it, we're all done. I've spent probably about an hour and a half having a good look around the house and this is everything that I've been able to come up with. If you add up all the comps that you would have seen throughout that video, we're at over $500 worth of value and I look at all these items as, as free really I mean we've had them for a number of years they're literally just not getting used anymore so I look at it as free inventory for me to go and sell online so if you want to get into reselling this is the perfect place to start you can get these items for free literally within your own home that you know you've had for so long and you're never going to use them again so awesome result here really happy to find all these cool items half of them though are my sisters so I'm probably gonna to have to ask her as to whether or not I can go on a reset sell it but I'm sure she's not going to be using a Mickey Mouse plush anytime soon um, so fingers crossed she says yes and I'll go ahead and get these listed but 
Thanks very much for tuning into this video, guys. Hope it's motivated you to have a bit of a look over the holiday period to get stuck into this. Uh, enjoy the break, but while you are home, dig through the cupboards, dig through the drawers, see what you can find. Hopefully, there's some money for you to be made and uh, best of luck with it. Let me know in the comments uh, if you do find anything and um, let me know what it goes on to sell for. Thanks very much, guys. We'll see you in the next episode.